In today's episode, we're heading north into Colorado, stopping in Telluride to hike right up Vela Falls and to take a stroll through the town. Howdy, y'all. Uh. Good morning. We're in Colorado. On the Dolores River right behind us. So we're very close to Telluride. We have been to Colorado so many times for the summer, but we have never been to Telluride. So we're excited to go explore it today. And I gotta admit, I'm trying to still get used to the elevation. We have now climbed up to 9,200 feet and I feel it a little. I'm starting to get kind of acclimated, but I did get a little lightheaded when we came here yesterday. And just the temperatures, it is a lot cooler up here. I think last night it got down to the 30s. And I have shorts on right now only because we're in the sun. If we were in the shade, I would have pants and probably long sleeves on. So we found this camp spot when we came in yesterday, we drove into town, scoped it out. Then we drove back over here, found this camp spot. It is right off this main highway, but most of the camp spots around here are gonna be right off the main highway unless you drive way up into the mountain and you get into higher elevation where it is going to be colder. Now we might do that tonight. We have several other spots picked out that we might go to. And I know we said a few vlogs ago, we don't like camping next to the highways, but this river is so loud that we hardly even hear traffic. And the highway dies down at night. It's not that busy. And personally, I would camp here again, but we just want to see where else there is in this area. It's just so cool to be sitting here and looking off in the distance and there's mountains with snow on it. That's kind of cool, but it is very cool. Our heater came on last night. Oh yeah, we actually used the heater for the first time in months. I mean, months and we actually didn't have it turned on i got up early and turned it on is that what happened <laughs> yeah I, so this morning i guess what time three? Oh no it was light out oh. it was like first light first light yeah but i smelt burning dust that's how long it's been <laughs> since we turned that on i was like and that's what woke me up <laughs> Oh well, we needed it. We definitely need to get ready because today we're gonna do, go do a hike. And it's a hike that you've been wanting to do for a while. It's a popular hike. It's not gonna be anything remote, but our friend kept telling us, if you ever go to Telluride, you've gotta see Bridal Falls. So we're gonna go see Bridal Falls and we haven't seen a large set of falls. Gosh, I can't even remember. It's been years. Is it Bridal Veil Falls? Though? I think it's Bridal Veil Falls maybe. Yeah. So it is actually, if you go into town and you follow the main strip all the way down, it's at the very end of the main strip. We're just excited to go check it out. Let's hit the road. We've made it and it is really crowded. I knew it was gonna be a little crowded, but we had to park way down here. The parking is a little bit further up, so we're gonna hike longer than a mile. It's only a mile up to the falls. They're, they're way up there. And then it's a mile back. So it's gonna be a two mile round trip. However, we might've added another quarter of a mile. So it's not a big deal. At the base of this mountain is an old mining company. And that is exactly how a lot of these mountain towns like Telluride are founded was because people would come here and mine for minerals, copper. I'm not real sure what they had over here, maybe copper. I think that's a big one around here. But here's the parking we were talking about. And of course we got three separate falls. I don't know what those two names are, but that is Bridal Veil Falls over there. And if you can see at the top of those falls, there's actually a power plant up there generating its electricity from that waterfall. And I think the town still uses that electricity. You want to go ahead and put it up? Yeah. She was wanting something to keep her warm when we were getting out of the truck. The wind was just cuts like icicles. Okay. Already out of breath. Well, she could find a way. There's still some snow. Yeah. Which we, oh my God, which we saw it, but I don't know if we're going to be hiking past, did we? That's kind of cool. 
So I haven't even told you anything about this trail. Hell's mine might be blown. It's only one mile up to the waterfalls or the base of the waterfalls. And in that one mile, we're gonna gain 800 feet. We'll be starting the hike at 9,071 feet. And at the base of the falls, we'll be at 9,872 feet. But the waterfalls themselves up to the top, honey, I'm starting to get right there with you. Whew. But at the top of the waterfall is 10,279 feet. There's a lot of, a lot of numbers there. Whew. Check out this flower right here. Look at this. I was gonna say something about that whenever I got breath. If you see trees, please don't mark in them. What ends up happening is it weakens the bark, allows infections and diseases to get behind a tree's bark, which is its layer of protection from disease, makes it sick and they'll eventually die. Be careful. Is it? Oh, it's super muddy. It's awesome. Man. It is awesome. All right, so that's an example of a waterfall type we have not seen in a while. One that throws mist on you like that. Boy, that was cold too. We're getting up to the top of the lower falls. That's a lot of power. No wonder there's a power generation plant up there. I think we were wrong, I think. This is the lower falls. Oh. Oh, I thought we were almost done. It's killing us right now, y'all. My ears are starting to pop. How are you feeling back there? Out of breath. I'm very hungry. I'm starving again. I'm starving. We don't ever eat lunch. I'm starting to think it has something to do with the altitude. I mean, I don't We know. ate a decent little breakfast this morning. We had crepes with bananas and hazelnut spread. And remember y'all, this is only a mile one way. Whew. I feel like we've been at it for like an hour. I guess we just need to stay in higher altitude longer. What's really crazy about these falls is when they freeze over in the winter, ice climbers come here with those little picks Dude, and then they have the, the shoes with the picks on them. I would love to see that. I would too. I wouldn't want to do that. No, I'd do it. I'd do it. I would. Of course, the town Yore on the other side of the ridge here also hosts ice climbing. That would be so cool to see.
Now there is a pass here for off-road vehicles. You can drive down, you just can't drive up. Now that dried y'all off a little bit, let's see if we can get, get a different angle of this thing. It is massive. And then up there at the top is the power generator that I was telling you about, the power station. That is so cool. So cold. That was pretty cool. Tallest we've seen in a long time. Yeah, that is the tallest we've seen in probably three years, two years. We have talked to another couple that's done this hike about three times and they come up the trail and they go down the road. So I think we might take the road back down. They said that we're also gonna see a couple little more waterfalls, um, great views of the mountains over here. Uh, it is a Jeep trail or an off-road trail. It's a one way. It is a long loop. You start somewhere over there and then you come down. You can actually park right here to see the falls and then you go back down this way into town. So if you're into that, you don't want to hike, you would rather take your off-road vehicle. That is another option. Plus you go all through the mountains. So I couldn't imagine how gorgeous it probably is. And there's a car coming out. Right there. Yeah. Oh man, this is gorgeous. Wow, look at that view. I see why Colorado's slogan is colorful Colorado because it is colorful, y'all. Yeah. All right, we made it back to the truck. Now we are gonna head into town. We are in town, but we're gonna drive a little further and hopefully find a place to park so that we can explore the area. I'm still starving to death. I think Cody's probably hungry too. We're gonna get a little bite to eat because I wanted to cook dinner when we got back to camp. So just a little bite. I wanted to go into some shops and look around. They had a couple outdoor stores. Always love going into outdoor stores. What you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can find a place to park. Well, it took us a little bit longer than we thought, but we did find parking. This place is busy. A lot more busier than other Colorado towns we've been to. We had to get a snack even though Kelly's cooking. We are so hungry, but I'm fine now. I don't know if I'm going to be hungry for dinner. I know, though. I hope I'm hungry later, but we got two cupcakes to go. That restaurant was so good. Everything is farm to table. But now we got to find a place to buy ourselves a new t-shirt. I need some more shirts. stopping a fly shop and I didn't record anything because I got sidetracked. Got me some new flies and I might try fishing while we're here. These little fellas right there. Am I gonna fish today? No. Am I gonna fish tomorrow? Probably. I don't know. Well it depends on if we get a camp spot by water. Yeah. Because we might not get that same spot again. You're right. The Dolores. I'll think about it. I've got some time to think because we can uh, get a fishing license online too. The cool thing about the fishing license is you can just go online and, and get it. You don't even have to go into a store. Will do. Maybe can fit right there. Like a glove. All 
All right, <laughs> we ended up coming right back to the same spot. Only because the guys at the fly shop told Cody that this is a good spot to catch what kind of fish? Cutthroat trout. Cutthroat. So we came back here yeah. and there's no one here. Yay! <laughs> we'll get our star link up. I'll get my fishing license and we will see what we can catch. It looks like there's more water. Am I crazy? Dude, that's gotten more water. That's higher. Huh. That's weird. Snow melt? I, oh, the sun being out today. Yeah, today was got really warm this afternoon, so snow melt is probably the reason for that. Okay, let me get out so we can get in the right spot. The good spot. All right, uh, are you level? Well, I mean, this is fine unless you need to move maneuver to get more level. No, it's not good. Is it almost where we were earlier? Yeah. Looks good to me. Yeah, this is a really great spot. We enjoyed it quite a bit. This water's definitely up. Whoa. And it's definitely Whoa. brown. <laughs> Got Starlink hooked up and decided I was gonna get a fishing license and see if I can at least have a little fun for a little bit. And one of my favorite things is to put my new flies in my fly box. It's so much fun to me. Don't ask me why, I just enjoy it. And look who came to hang out with me, my angel princess. You ready to watch me not catch anything? Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think that's a little too insane right now. I'm gonna go up here and see if I can actually find a hole that's a little bit calmer. I don't think there's gonna I don't think there's gonna be anywhere calm for me to fish at. All right, y'all. It's just too raging for me to try to fish right now. There's, I can't even, I don't know. It's just not even feasible. I think this was a bad call on the fishing part, but look what Kelly did while I was trying to fish. Look how cozy she is. She's already downed a half of a cupcake. Mm -hmm. I'm picking out. Just enjoying a little telly. Yeah, I decided I'm not cooking dinner tonight because it's like seven o'clock now. We're not hungry anyway. But a cupcake does sound pretty nice. And I guess we're splitting the cupcakes. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I'm cool with it. But tomorrow we're gonna be heading to a new location and we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.